and the other thing that a lot of them said from Raheem to Taz to everybody is we speak about these new artists and a lot of stuff that's going on nowadays is a lot of these ATL artists right. they don't pay homage to the artists that paved the way especially Atlanta artists you know whether yeah, it was Outkast or anything like that you know what, what what's your thoughts on that I mean just it's, following up I mean even when we asked Roscoe Dash he said the same thing he was like yeah we don't we don't I mean that. <laughs> Man, I mean, you right? Cause I mean, I asked the, I asked the normal, you know, teenager or stuff. But you know, I, you know, I tell them, yeah, you know, I, I represent the Dungeon Family. What Dungeon Family? Who, what is that? Yeah, who's what Dungeon that? Family? Who's Dungeon Family? <laughs> yeah, but I if just say out in my head. Yeah, if you say, oh yeah, I heard them. God, come on, man. Yeah, like for mm. real, you know. But it's like I said, it's 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 kind of our fault because you know, there's no balance in the game, man. It's it's no balance, and and like I said, we gotta we gotta. That's why I always refer to the kids as youngest. That's why we played that track, youngest, mm-hmm. because. I try to to let them know, you know, do your history, man. Do do your history on where you are and 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 what actually put a time on a time on the map. Dungeon Family is very instrumental, um, and even it goes further back than that. But they, you know, as far as coming out and, and paving the way for artists to, to to actually be heard from the south, you know, we had to go to New York to do that. Exactly. You know? So. Um, Hey, it is what it is, man. Hey, we have, history. we have Senior Chaos in the building with us, too. Yeah. What up, what up? Hey, we got to get your mic on. Say that again. Let's do that. What up, what up? One, two, one, yeah. two. Hey, man, good to see you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. We want you to yeah, jump in on this conversation. Tell us what you think. You go. know, you hear you hear what everybody's talking about. And, and what what are your thoughts? You, you, you are, you're in the game. Yo, check it out. Um, I mean, I definitely... I definitely hear what y'all are saying. Like, my opinion on the whole thing is I think it's also a disconnect between, uh, you know, former older ATL artists and the new crop that's coming up. And when I say the disconnect, I mean, uh, you know, a lot of times we don't see them cats. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have that interaction and relationship with them cats. Mm -hmm. Um, Coming from the same city, making the same music, it's like... You don't have the privilege of really hanging out with, with Andre 3000. Mm-hmm. I've never met Raheem the Dream. Never met DJ Taz. You know, never met a lot of these cats. But I go to other cities and, you know, cats cats in Chicago is hanging with no ID. Cats in New York is, is you know, hanging with those older crop of, of New York heads. So it's like they have that connection to the scene. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think in Atlanta, it's kind of like a, a, a disconnect. Like, I would love to sit down with Raheem the Dream and pick his brain. You know what I mean? Because I, I grew up listening to a lot of his music. And uh, also seeing that business mind, and you know, seeing those videos and, and, and seeing him have fun with it as well. And I always had a lot of questions. And, um, you know, it's like we don't really get a chance to, to interact with them cats, man. Like, you know, I don't know necessarily where they are, what they're doing, but it's kind of that disconnect. So it's kind of hard for a lot of cats to pay homage. I, you uh, know, I, sense, like, you I know love I, mean? I love hearing that because that's that's a whole different angle that mm-hmm. we, we didn't hear, you know. Yeah. Because we hear the older cast saying, you guys don't give a damn about us. And then we hear the younger cast saying, well, you don't give a damn about us. <laughs> yeah, y'all ain't nowhere to be found. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah okay. That's a good interesting point. That's the first time we heard that perspective on right. it. Yeah, right. it's, uh, I mean, it's, I keep it real, man, 100% of the time. <laughs> right. so. But a lot, of, a lot of times, a lot of times, um, every like it, it's almost, it's like what I'm getting ready to do. You know, a lot of these times, these cats are not in Atlanta no more. You know what I'm saying? They otherwise, like, you know, CeeLo overseas right now. You know, like I said, you know, um, Sleepy out there, I believe, still out there in the West Coast. So it's, it's a lot of times they they feel like they've done everything that they, they can could, do here. Yeah. Here. And now it's time to get out and, and get some of the, you know, the, explore some of the opportunities that's being, you know, paid. Cats um, got to go make yeah, the money. Yeah, they got to go make yeah. the money. And, you know, mm-hmm. and you get more love <laughs> when you go away sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, we, hear, we see stars all the time here. You know what I mean? So... You know, you walk up and see you see somebody in the, in the lane and go, "Yo, what's up?" But you get out of town, it's like, "Oh, Lord, what's up, man? How you doing?" You know, yeah. and, and it's it's just a, 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 a amount of maintaining. You know what it sounds like to me, just from hearing what you guys are saying. Mm-hmm. It sounds like New York. Mm-hmm. Meaning when New York created the whole rap game, the mm-hmm. whole hip hop scene, and then it died. Everybody mm-hmm. moved to Atlanta. Everybody moved to different parts of the country. Mm-hmm. And now and then Atlanta became the next quote unquote Motown. Mm-hmm. But now it seems like that's fading away. Mm-hmm. Like maybe Atlanta has been oversaturated and now everybody's like, Okay, everybody's here. Mm-hmm. I can't do anything else. Mm-hmm. Now it's time to move on. They're yeah. migrating. True yeah. indeed. It's, yeah. uh, this year alone, man, it's, I had a lot of people close to me uh, get up out of here. It's a lot of people leaving the A. 
Yeah. And my man Jaws is next. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know yeah. what I mean? It's a lot of people pulling the LeBron, taking their talents to other oh, cities. Oh, man. man. In, in order uh, to get that ring. So, yeah. That it's is. a serious it's a, it's a serious thing. But, yo, shout out to, you know, everybody that's, that's paid the way in ATL, man. man. Like, you know, when could nobody do anything uh, today without none of them cats. And not just in Atlanta, but hip-hop, period. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, definitely do your history, do your knowledge on uh, on everything that's come before you. You know, it's a lot of cats out here repeating some of the same stuff because they don't know it's already been done. Right, right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Cats right. running around like, yo, I got the next hot idea, yo. Right. It's like, man, come on, man. We did that 20 years ago. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and, and no disrespect, that's a perfect example. No disrespect to, like, uh, Roscoe Dash or whatever, but when I first heard the voice, you know, I, I instantly thought of Kilo. Right. You know? Right, I was like, yeah. I was like, that Kilo days. been doing that, that type of, you know, that sound or whatever. Yep. You know, that, 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 yep. that. Yeah. I was like, there ain't no one of Kilo, man. Man, so it's just it ain't nothing new up under the sun, man. But, you, but you know what that really is? What's that? That's nothing but Mr. Collie Park telling him to do it. Right. Exactly. Because exactly. He, he's all. I Already mean, if you up. really if you really look at how hip hop has been, <clears throat> we've always taken from the old and made it new. Right. Now right. you got and for those of you and I know almost everybody in Atlanta knows Collie Park is really DJ Smurf. Right. Mm -hmm. All he did was he took booty shake music, mm -hmm. what we danced our asses off to, mm -hmm. and slowed it down to seventy five beats per minute. And gave it to the kids. Yeah. And created slow booty shape. Yeah. yeah. That, I mean, Soulja Boy cranked that. Oh, we're going to super yeah. soak that. Oh, yeah. that's nothing but yeah. two high crew. Yeah. Slow it down. Yeah. And it's fun, man. Like I said, I, I enjoy it, dude. I, I, that, uh, 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 that's my joint. I, lo I love it, man. I can't I can't yeah. say that yeah. I don't like it, but right. I, I just got a problem with balance, man. If you can't balance me out, then, you know. You know, too much sugar, you get diabetes. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I, you got to balance it out. Sure. Yeah, indeed. We need some vegetables.